Hi, this is Kerry from freeoutsdtutorials.com. This is part two of my podcast introduction mix where I'm showing you how I mix four different things together to make a master uh, mix of the intro from my podcast. Now, we left off in the last episode or the last part of this tutorial with uh, all of the tracks in, all of the fades in and out put in, but the levels in terms of volume are not good in terms of everything being equal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to maximize all my tracks again so I can look at them. And what I'm going to be using is an effect up here called a compressor. Now you notice in this effects there is a compressor tool right here. I don't use this compressor because I just don't like the way that it works. Instead I go down to the very bottom here. You can't see where I'm at but there's an arrow down there and I go right here to this Dyson compressor okay and the Dyson compressor is set up so that the peak limit in decibels is uh, essentially how high you are gonna allow the volume of any given track to go before uh, the compressor starts to limit it starts to keep it from going any higher 0.0, .0 is the highest you're able to go without some sort of distortion or clipping. The release time tells you how uh, quickly the compression will release once it no longer needs to compress. The compression ratio tells you how much it's going to compress. And the fast compression ratio tells you how quickly it's going to compress uh, when it senses that it needs to do so. Now all of these settings as they are currently set are how I like to do them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to click on just this intro track and I usually do my compression on each individual track by itself uh, just so they don't have issues in uh, affecting one another in the way they compress. So I'm going to go to compression. If I want to preview it, I can do that. This is the Christian Home and Family Podcast with Kerry Green, episode number 12. You, your family. Okay. So now what I want you to do is watch right here what happens to the waveform after I click OK on this compression. You see how it jumped? The size got bigger. The volume basically increased. But what compression does is it, it raises everything that can be raised in proportion to each other beneath that limit that you set on the compre compression of 0.0. .0. So it's not going to allow anything to clip. It's going to bring the low things higher so that you can hear everything more clearly. Now here on my kids, you can see here in the middle, some of these are pretty low while others are pretty high. So what I'm going to do on this one, you don't have to do a whole track. I'm going to do the things that look smaller to me. And I'm going to do the same thing, effect, Dyson compressor. And I'm just going to say OK and see how all those jumped. And now you can listen to it, and you'll see everything's pretty consistent. Add with your questions or comments. Seven. One. Nine. Nine. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Four. Four. Okay. Now here is my audio track of the music, and I am not going to do compression on it because my friend Adam Ray, who wrote this piece, uh, you can find his music at heyrayguitar.com. Uh, he mastered this and mixed this in his own home studio, and I'm just going to trust that he did a good job because I like how the track sounds. And then here is my daughter Maddie doing the phone number. And you see there's parts of this that are low, parts that are high. Uh, so I'm just going to do the whole track. So again, I'm going to left-click over here. I'm going to go to Effect, Compression, where's our Dyson Compressor right there. And I'm just going to click OK, and you see it all jump again. Now, I've done my compression on all these tracks. Now, some people will do EQ to raise the low-end uh, frequencies. Some will do that. I don't do that. I just don't feel like it's needed on what I'm doing. Some people will also go into the effects menu and do what's called a limiter, which uh, enables uh, your tracks to go as high as possible in volume without peaking. Um, I don't do that either because, in my view, when you're listening to something, especially with headphones, when it's limited like that, um, it's just too loud overall, and you can't hear the diversity in the volumes, which is, is part of the listening enjoyment, so I don't do that. Uh, now, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to save my project. I would go to File, Save Project As, and I would save it as something like the name Premix Intro. And the reason I would do that is so that if I need to come back and make adjustments to this, I can do so before it's all been mixed together. 
because once it's mixed together, you can't unmix it. And uh, I've already actually saved this as a premix intro in a different folder. So I'm not going to do that right now, but that's what I would normally do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select each of my tracks over here. And before I select this next one, I'm going to hold down the shift key. It enables me to select multiple tracks at once. Okay. Now another way to do that is I could just go to edit and select all and it would select all of my tracks. Okay. So I've got, I've got, um, all of them selected, I believe. Yeah, they're all selected. So I'm going to go to edit since I just undid it, select all. Okay. And then I'm going to go up here to tracks and mix and render. And that's going to mix all four of these tracks together into one master track. So you see, there it is. Um, I'm going to play a little bit of it so you can hear. In Home and Family Podcast with Carrie Green, episode number 12, You, Your Family, and the Internet, a conversation with author David Clark about his new book. Call our dad with your questions or comments. Now you notice it mixed it into a stereo track. And I don't use stereo on my podcast, so I'm going to split stereo to mono, get rid of this bottom one. And that's the one I'm picking right now because the kids' track of their saying the phone number was a mono track, so there's nothing in this track down here to match it. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And you can see I have one track here, and it says mix. It gives you the name mix. And that is basically how I do my intro to the podcast. And now I have one file I can use as the intro. And I don't have to drag all these files in and mix them every single time. The only thing I will have to change is right here at the beginning, because it is uh, talking specific to that podcast episode. This is the Christian Home and Family Podcast with Kerry Green, episode number 12. See, every episode is not episode number 12, obviously. So I will have to edit out just this very beginning part and add a new part for that particular episode that I'm recording then. And that's fairly simple compared to everything that you just saw me do. So that is it for freeoutsdtutorials.com on this second part of the intro mix.